Hello everyone, my name is Debbie Sheets. I am here with Arlington County's wonderful 55 plus program. And today we will be doing yoga with a strap. So I'll be showing you all kinds of yoga poses we can do with a strap. If you don't have a yoga strap, you can use a men's tie, a really long belt. You can do a scarf that is long enough and uh, you can put some pressure on. For this, you do not want to use those uh, stretchy exercise bands. We want something that doesn't stretch that will, when you put your foot out in it, it won't put, you know, continue pressing out. We wanna be able to use some tension. And the straps can help us uh, stay safer in a forward fold. We, it helps keep uh, from rounding the sh uh, upper back. It can help us stretch further in other poses. Um, it can be an aid to us for poses that are challenging, help us to get into the pose a little easier. So lots of reasons to use a strap and you may really like some of the poses with a strap and others you may already be used to using, doing the pose without using a strap. So uh, feel free to um, use the strap on everything we do, or you may opt out at homes with uh, not using the strap. So we're going to get started now with just a couple of breaths and a couple of ohms or ahs just to get centered. It's always important to start yoga from a centered place and stay centered throughout and end with a little bit of breath work too. So take a breath, just let it out any way that feels good to you. Just notice the breath settling. Inhale and exhale through the nose when you're ready. Inhale, expanding the belly a little bit, maybe the rib cage and then the chest. Exhaling slow and smooth. Just take a couple more breaths like this at your own pace. Sitting with the straight back, wherever you happen to be sitting, on a chair, on the floor. And then after your next exhale, inhale for three ohms or ahs together. Now take a minute to notice how your body feels in its seated position. Is it comfortable to continue to sit with the back straight? How do your hips feel? Do you need to sit on something that lifts your hips a little bit more? It can be something simple like a little pillow. It can be a folded bath towel or a yoga blanket. You might want a couple of blankets or pillows. It's important that the knees are equal distance with the hips or lower. So if you find your knees are up like this when you're sitting down, you wanna raise your hips and get, that'll help you be a little more comfortable and sit with a straight spine. We're gonna start with some arm movement and we're going to unroll our straps and take the strap in both hands and we're gonna lift our arms up overhead in something like a Y shape. You might wanna play with, you know, do your hands wanna be out here or up here? And we're gonna just hold up like this for a moment. Take a few breaths. 
And then on an inhale, kind of feel yourself expanding up towards the ceiling. On an exhale, feel yourself grounding through your sit bones into either your chair or mat. You can do this in a chair. Inhale, reaching up a little bit. Exhale, rooting down. You can also do this arm work while you're standing if you prefer also. Reaching up, exhale, rooting down. Then we're gonna to stretch to each side. Inhale, reach up, exhale over to one side, stretching from the hips up through the wrist. Inhale up, exhale to the other side, stretching the whole side body there. One more time on each side. Inhale up, exhale over to the side. Inhale up, exhale to the other side. We're trying to get our spines warmed up a little bit here, reaching back, opening up across the chest. Everybody will have a different range of motion in your shoulders. So if you don't reach that far back, that's fine. You might want your strap to be a little longer between the two hands or shorter. Generally, if you're reaching forward, you'll want it on a little bit shorter. And then you can hold right here for a moment. Feel what's going on in your shoulders as you do this. Inhale, coming back up again, reaching back a bit. And exhale, releasing down, take a breath, maybe roll the shoulders a few times. Shake out the hands, let's crunch the fingers. Holding on to the strap does make your hands get a little tense. So you might even want to take your thumb across the palm of the hand, give it a little squeeze, maybe squeeze and pull on each finger for a moment. And then do the same on the other hand, getting the blood circulating in the hands and fingers, moving the wrists around a few times, going in either direction, shake out those hands, get them loose, crunch the fingers, maybe roll the shoulders again. And for a good measure, let's take the head around a few times in a small circle, both directions, take a breath, relax, take another breath. And we're going to do um, what's called cow-faced pose with the strap. We're going to be taking our arms behind us, holding, let's start with the right hand, holding the strap in just the right hand, bringing the strap around behind you. I'm going to shift a little so you can see a little what's going on. We're going to work our hands towards one another. So I've got the left hand in the lower part of the strap and the right hand in the upper. This might be as close as your hands get to each other, or maybe you can walk the hands further towards one another here. And if you can, the right elbow will point straight up to the ceiling. That's not gonna happen with any everybody. Some people have had shoulder issues and it may look very different. But find where you're comfortable holding for a little while. Allow your breath to settle, keeping your chin parallel to the floor, Continue holding here. Take a few more breaths. If this bothers your shoulder, come out. Another few breaths here. And then gently release. Give your shoulders a little time to feel normal again. Take another breath and then we'll do the other side. Some of you may also know the other part of this pose that works with the leg. I'm not legs. I'm not going to teach that today. It's not for everybody. It can be a little harder on the knees, but if you know it, feel free to go into the pose with the bottom half of the body. Only if you know it. Otherwise, we're just focusing on the arms right here, taking the strap in the left hand. Now bringing the strap behind the back and grabbing the lower part of the strap with the right hand, reaching the hands towards one another as much as works for you. It'll look different for everyone. Take a breath, let yourself settle into it. Chin parallel to the floor, looking straight ahead. And hold here for a few more moments. As the breath settles, 
Release into the pose a little bit. Let the shoulders relax a little bit. Maybe that allow your hands to come together just a little bit closer, maybe just a hair closer. Maybe you stay just as you were. And maybe your shoulders acting up and you say, ah, I think I need to loosen up a bit. Feel free. And then gently release, let the shoulders relax. This is helping us to keep our range of motion in the shoulders. So take a breath here, relax a little bit here. And then we're going to go into a gentle forward fold. I'm going to demonstrate a full forward fold with both feet out, but you can also do this for the uh, one leg out type. We're going to take the strap around the balls of both feet here. We're going to sit nice and tall. And if you're in a chair, you'll want to do this one leg at a time. Okay. So, uh, you, it's, a, you can do two at a time, but it's a little trickier. So you may prefer to do one at a time. Roll the shoulders back and down. Keep that back nice and straight. See how my elbows are back by my waist here. I'm not pressing in with my arms, but I'm just letting them gently touch the sides of my body. That'll help keep you aligned and that back nice and straight. Then this can be your whole forward fold, or you can come forward. We want to keep those elbows back. That keeps us from rounding the back. We don't want to be doing this. Okay. So nice straight back. And maybe you can walk your hands forward a little bit as you fold from the hips, no folding from any place else in the back hips, lower back is getting a nice stretch here. Keep those toes pointed up and you can get a nice stretch from the heels all the way um, through the backs of the legs up into the lower back. Just let the breath settle here. Take a few more breaths. Maybe relax the shoulders a little bit, maybe a less tight grip on the strap, but you still have to hold on to it. Over time, you may come into it a little more fully, or you may say, oh, my, my body's had enough. Let's come out. You can come out sooner. You can stay in longer. Feel free to pause the video at any time in order to make the pose your own. And then inhale, slowly coming up. Release the strap, shake it out a little bit. And then we're going to come to, then we're going to come to standing. So we're going to move towards the wall and I'm going to show you how we can use the wall. But first we're going to do one forward fold from standing position without the wall. And then we'll do one with the wall. We're going to take the strap in the hands behind us and we're going to take our feet about hip distance apart or so. And we're going to inhale, exhale into an L shape with the body, bring the arms up behind you. They might not come up as far as mine do. That's fine. You do what works for you. Feel that stretch in the back. We're keeping a nice straight back here. You can bend the knees as needed. They can keep them soft. You can have them straight, but not locked, or you can bend them a lot and just hold here. And then bend the knees as you come up with a nice flat back, release the hands, maybe just hang the strap on your shoulder a minute, shake the hands out, crunch fingers. We want to stay feeling good. Um, if we have our hands gripped through this whole thing, they'll bother us by the end of the class. So keep, keep getting your fingers uh, relaxed. And now I'm moving over to the wall. So we're going to start with what can be considered a standing forward fold. And the wall is going to help us with some balance. You can do this without the wall. If you know that you've done something like this and your balance is really good. But if you have any questions about your balance, it's safer to do it with a wall behind you. 
So we're going to take the strap around the ball of the right foot to start. It can be either one, but I like to start on the right and just stretch the leg out. Bring the shoulders back. It's really important to keep the back nice and straight. And then if you want, you can not lean on the wall. The, the wall is just there for you if you need it. And just hold the leg out and just breathe and hold. If you wanna do this seated in your chair, feel yourself grounding through your hips rather than we're grounding through the standing foot. Really strong standing leg, chest is open, elbows pulled back here. Maybe come up more, maybe you've had enough. When you've had enough, bend the knee, release the strap, come down, take a breath. So without the wall, it would look like this. You really need to strengthen that standing leg. Grounding through the standing leg foot, reaching the leg up. If you need to lean against the wall, do that. Make sure you feel safe. Bring the elbows back so that back stays nice and straight. Breathe and hold here. And then release, bring the legs down. And then we can do something similar to what we just did, but we, we'd be bringing the leg out to the side. Depending on what's going on with your hips, this may be something you want to do or not. I'm going back to my right foot, grounding through the left leg. You can even feel some activation in the abdominal area. Strengthening the core and using our core muscles helps us to stay straight. You can take the strap just in the right hand, move the leg up and then out to the side. And use the wall or not. You can just use the wall as a touchstone. You can stand right against it. Your leg may not go out this far. That's fine. And then bringing it back to center, bending the knee, releasing the strap. Take a breath. Take another breath. Let that leg start to feel a little more normal before we, um, use it to support us for the other side. And when you're ready, take the strap around the ball of the left foot, raise the leg up, take the strap just in the left hand. You may wanna have a hand on the wall. You may wanna leave it by your side. Take the leg out to the side, keeping both shoulders back, standing as nice and straight as you can Feel engagement in the torso, the leg, the right glutes there. And hold. And then coming back, releasing the leg. Take a breath, stretch it out a little bit. And then we're gonna do another balance pose. It's called King Dancer, and it's easier done facing a wall. So I'm gonna demonstrate it that way. Before we go into it though, we can just do a really quick dog at the wall. This is a nice stretch for your back. It doesn't use a strap, but we're gonna so have soft knees, press out through the hips, feet hip distance apart. Take a breath here. And then walk yourself back to the wall. Relax, take a breath. And take your strap in your hand again. And King Dancer without a strap might look like this, okay? It's really hard for some folks to get that foot in the hand. So a strap makes it much more doable, but it can take a little while to kind of get yourself into that position so don't worry if it feels awkward at first and if it feels like too much for you, feel free to opt out. But you can take the strap, kind of loop it around the top part of your foot. And then we're gonna bring the strap up towards us. Feel like you're grounding through your left foot. Left leg is strong. You can reach out and touch the wall in front of you and then you're holding the strap behind your back, if that works for you, pressing your foot into the strap 
And maybe your pose looks like this. Maybe you just stay like this. If you want, you can come into a little more of a forward fold. Hold there. If you want to not touch the wall, you can work on your balance by taking the hand off the wall. Whatever you choose to do, make sure you feel safe. So check in with yourself at each point in the pose and say, do I feel safe? And if so, continue. If not, come out or adjust. And then release yourself from the strap. Take a breath. And shake out your hand. It's holding the strap. And then we'll do the other side. Coming into your Tadasana or mountain pose, grounding through the feet, letting the breath settle for a moment, coming into your straightest posture, yet have your knees be soft, feel some relaxation in the body. And then we're gonna take the strap around the other foot. You may wanna hold the wall first. It might take a few times to get that foot into the strap and then bring the strap up towards you. You can hold it over your shoulder if you like, and you can hold the wall or not. Keep bringing that strap up as far as your leg will allow. You'll feel that stretch in the front of the thigh a lot. Really strong standing leg. Settle your breath. Feel that stretch in the front body there. Maybe you'll want to work your hand down the strap a little. Maybe not. And then gently release. And that's how to do King Dancer with a strap. You may opt to do a simpler standing balance. You know, if that feels like too much, you can do, you know, just raising a leg up and holding it up there. And that might be what feels best to you. So um, King Dancer can be a little challenging, but sometimes it's fun to have a challenge. So um, have fun with it. Don't feel like you have to do it perfectly. You know, do it as feels good to you. And now we're going to move back to our mats, or you could do much of this seated in a chair if you prefer. So coming back to the mat, we're gonna come onto our bellies. And first we're gonna take a little rest, okay? So we've been working pretty hard now. Take a breather, take your cheek to the side, relax the arms by your sides. Just let the breath settle. Let the feet fall out. Take another breath or two. Turn your cheek, relax the head on the other side. Our neck is getting a nice little stretch here. And then we're going to do bow pose or Danyar Asana. And this one is similar to what we did at the wall. It's giving the uh, back a similar stretch and you can do it half bow or full bow. I'm gonna demonstrate the half bow first and we're gonna take the strap around the top of the foot again. The other arm is going across the mat in front of the mat. And you take the strap over the shoulder some, pressing this hand and arm, forearm into the mat a little. If you can, raise that thigh up off the ground and just hold there, looking out. Take a few breaths here. And then gently release and we'll bring the strap around for the other foot, it might take you a little while to get the foot in and out of the strap. Feel free to pause the video if it's giving you a, a hard time at all. And uh, the more you do it, the easier it becomes to get yourself set up. But sometimes a setup can take a little bit in this one. 
So strap around the other foot, other arm is in front of you here. Take a few breaths. When you feel ready, press the foot into the strap, looking out a bit. See how the back has a nice little arch in it? If it feels like too much, you can opt out or just do it. It might look like this for you. You're just pulling, you can feel it. If you feel a stretch, that's what's important. Adjust your hand position on the strap as needed to hold it to the um, comfort zone of your body. Maybe bring your chest up some. Pelvis is pressed into the mat. And then releasing the strap, release down. Maybe take your hands under your forehead. Take a few breaths. Maybe the hips roll a few times to release pressure on the back. and then press yourself back into a child's pose. If you have a chair by you, you and this is too much on the knees, you could rest your head on a chair. You can rest your head on a block blanket or on stacked fists or hands. And then slowly come up and we're going to do forward boat pose, Navasana, using the strap. So we're going to take the strap around the balls of the feet. Make sure that there's nothing behind you that if you roll back, you would hit your head on, okay? So you want a couple feet free behind you. And then we're gonna sit the strap around the feet, shoulders pulled back, take a breath, we're gonna balance on our tailbones. And when you feel ready as much as you can, stretch the legs out, pull those shoulders back, nice straight back. You can do this without the strap, but it's a little more accessible with the strap. Take another few breaths here. Nice straight back, shoulders back, elbows in at your sides. And then you can continue holding. Come out whenever you like. When you come out, bend the knees, release the strap, take a breath, maybe lean back into the hands, roll the hips a few times, take another breath. And then we're going to come down onto our backs. So you can scoot down onto the mat, onto your uh, mat, and we're going to do a little more leg work and just first palms face up, legs hip distance apart. Relax, let the breath settle. You can pause the video and rest for longer, or if you feel ready, move into the next position with the strap around the ball of the right foot, bending the knee as you put the strap around it, keeping the shoulders, both shoulder blades stay on the ground, and just gently, very gently pull back on the strap as you feel ready to get a bigger stretch through the whole back of the leg and just breathe and hold here. Maybe as you continue holding, you'll straighten the leg a little more. Maybe if you want to try to pull the toes back towards you, you'll feel a really uh, big, big stretch through the whole back of the leg. So you can play with that. Feels different than your other legs. So Maybe you don't pull back as far, or maybe you can pull it back a little further. Really tune in with how your body's feeling as you're holding this, so you don't overdo it, but you also wanna kind of be able to work your edge, but very slowly. When we move into poses slowly, we can avoid injury because we have time to respond to messages we get from our body. 
Just allow the breath to settle a little here. Keeping that foot nice and straight. Maybe pulling back more, maybe not. And when you're done, bend the knee, release the strap, take a breath. And you can pause as long as you like to. That's the nice thing about these videos. If you're not ready to move on to the next pose, just hit pause, rest a little longer if you like. Or if you wanna keep going, we're gonna do a side stretch, two side stretches actually. Ball. The strap is around the ball of the right foot again, and we're going to just have the strap in our right hand after we get the leg straight up. And we're going to take the left arm out in a T and let the leg come out to the right. And maybe the leg comes this far. Maybe it comes this far. Maybe it comes further. You can hold here. If you want, you can look to the other side. Keep holding a few more moments. And you can have this be your whole side stretch or you can take it a little deeper. Bring the leg back to center, switch hands with the strap and take the leg across the body, looking to the right arm, which is now stretched out in a T. If you can, that leg can come all the way to the floor. If not, maybe it stays at a different spot. And if this is too much on the hips, you can skip it all together. So this is a class where there should be something for everyone, but everything is not necessarily for everyone. So you do what feels right for you. Hold a few more moments here. Gentle tension on the strap. And then slowly bring the leg back up, release the strap, relax the leg. Just notice, does that leg feel a little longer than the other one now? So we, won't, we don't wanna be lopsided. So we're gonna do the other side. Stretching the leg straight, holding the strap in the left hand. Take a breath. Just notice how your leg's feeling. And when you feel ready, right arm is out in a T, left arm moves out to the side. Maybe the strap goes a little longer, sliding through your hand, and then you hold it tight when the leg is at its uh, furthest point for you. Hold a few more moments here. Keep those hips on the ground, both shoulders on the ground. And then only if you want, and it works for your body, bring that leg back up, switch hands with the strap, take the left arm out into a T. And now the left hip will come up, we'll be over onto the side of our right hip. Looking to the left and holding. If the leg comes all the way to the floor, great. If not, great. Whatever feels good on your body, that's the leg position for you. Hold a few more moments here. And inhale, coming back up. Bending the knee, releasing the strap, take a breath. Take another breath. And then we're going to move into a final relaxation. You could stay here if you wanted, but I wanna show you how to do a legs up the wall relaxation with the strap around the legs. So I'm gonna move a mat over to the wall here. And we're going to take a moment to get into position. To get the legs up the wall, we wanna sit along side of the wall with the hip and then slide ourselves up so our legs are up the wall like this. If you need to do this in a bed, 
you can, but um, the floor works. If you like it with a blanket under your hips, you can have a blanket under your hips or do just like this. Now, some folks are fine with their legs just like this. Maybe you can get your hips a little closer to the wall and kind of wiggling up. For some, that might be too much of an angle, so do what works for you. And to use the strap here, we bring the strap around the legs and you can work it through the loop and tie it so you don't have to hold it, or you can tie it. If you're using like a tie, you can just tie it like a shoelace or something. And this keeps your legs from, you know, splaying out. Maybe your legs don't like to stay up and they move all over the wall when you're in legs up the wall. So this can help you take your focus off what the legs are doing and just relax into the position. Arms, palms face up, somewhere near your sides. And just relax here. This legs up the wall is a nice gentle inversion. It's a nice stress reducer. Can help regulate blood pressure. Another few moments here. And feel free to stop the video and stay here for as long as you like. Or we'll just be a little bit longer in the video here. So you may want to stay here longer. That's fine. I'm going to get up now, remove the strap, bending the knees, sliding the strap off, bringing the knees over to one side and coming up. Feel free to sit right where you're at now or move into a chair, back onto your pillow. I'm going to go back to where my prop is. And we're going to close now with a couple of breaths and a couple of alms. So take a moment to settle yourself with a straight back. Relax the shoulders. Take a breath, let the shoulders relax. And then take a few deep three-part breaths, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose as you're ready, expanding the diaphragm, then the rib cage front and back, and then the chest. Exhale, slow and smooth. Inhale, filling up. Exhale, relaxing. And one more breath. And then inhale for three ohms together, letting that mmm sound resonate for a bit at the end. Oh, oh, oh. Om Shanti, Om Peace. Have a wonderful afternoon. Feel free to provide feedback to Arlington County on this class or any of them. And I hope your body is feeling easeful, your mind is more peaceful, and you feel able to be more useful in your everyday life. Thank you for joining me.